Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mark McKee, and I'm a student here at Jefferson State Community College. Um, I'm in Fundamentals of Oral, oral Communication class. This is a um, informative speech on a topic that is very, very near and dear to, my, to me. Um, I suffered with this for a long time, um, hypertension. Hypertension is a is basically a silent killer. Uh, hypertension it affects numerous people throughout this whole entire globe and throughout the whole entire world. Um, hypertension, high blood pressure, really is is from a culmination of a lot of different things, um, causing hypertension. Well, the things causing hypertension could it could include stress. It can include uh, being overweight. It can include just really unhealthy lifestyle choices, um, excessive salt intake, stuff like that. Uh, taking that into accord, it, one of the things that really got me with it was being overweight. I've been overweight my entire life. Um, it took me almost almost dying to realize that, hey, I needed to take control of that situation. Um, a lot of that too is, you know, genetics. Genetics causes a lot of issues like that with hypertension, heart troubles, um, alcohol consumption can, you know, can lead to it as well. Uh, some of the ways to be able to prevent and kind of manage it is Number one is just a healthy diet. You know, eating, you know, a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, you know, basically staying, you know, to the to the five main food groups there and trying to limit the salt intakes and stuff like that. You know, trying to, you know, make sure that you keep whole grains, lean proteins, stuff like that in your diet is a must when trying to manage hypertension. Um, regular physical activity is another way to kind of regulate that. Um, basically getting your heart into, sh into shape. Um, I think the World Health Organization says that, you know, people who exercise at least 150 minutes per week really cuts their chances down of having hypertension by half. Um, Physical activity, you know, really kind of helps in a lot of different ways. It kind of helps in, you know, basically maintaining a healthy weight um, and just things like that. Smoking is another another example of something that actually really, you know, amplifies hypertension. I was a regular smoker for about 15 years. Um, it took, that's one of the hardest things I ever had to kick was that um stress management stress management you know and quitting smoking kind of run hand in hand um really just trying to keep yourself and your person healthy um regular checkups was one thing that really kind of helped me out too you know just kind of checking in with my doctor. My doctor put me on a blood pressure medication. I wound up actually being able to get off of it. Uh, but you know, that right there helped out a lot, but I just didn't want to be on a medication for that for the rest of my life. So it took, you know, me changing my diet, changing the way I did things, changing my, my, what would you say? Physical activity, stuff like that to try to, you know, make the change that, I needed to make to kind of get that under control. Um, kind of, I guess, in conclusion on this, you know, hypertension is a it's a global health issue with severe consequences if left unaddressed. Um, by understanding what causes it, the effects of it, the preventative measures that you can take, the proactive steps towards the healthier lifestyle, you know, that right there in itself can help save your life. You know. <laughs> The biggest thing right now, too, is just, you know, kind of learning how to prioritize yourself and prioritize your health to get you to a point where you can kick that. Um, really, 
I feel very strongly towards this subject. You know, it's one of these that, you know, if I can do it, anybody can do it kind of situations, you know, want to try to encourage other people to take that step to make that change to get you know to get that under control because that is something that can really really do some damage to you as a person you know if you're like me you got a wife and kids it's one of those that you know hey i gotta do what's best for them and taking care of myself is one of the best things to do to make sure that i'm taking care of myself for them so um with that being said um yeah hypertension it sucks and you know maybe this can kind of you know help somebody else with the the struggles of trying to get that under control thank you